Welcome to my first ever products that I regret buying video. I usually don't do videos like this because I don't want to be such a negative Nancy, but there are products that just didn't work for me in particular. Maybe it's just like my skin type. I do have oily combo skin or just the product basically sucks. I don't know. I'm going to start off with a product that I was hoping to enjoy because they're pricey. They retail for 24 bucks and they are the Tarte Lip Surgeons. I have two colors, Enchanted and Moody. And I seriously feel like an idiot because I didn't realize that they had the names right there in the middle. Uh, I couldn't find the names when I first bought these and I was like tripping over that. I found that throughout the day, it just didn't stay even on my lips. And even when you swatch it, it just kind of streaks. I just wasn't too impressed and I think I expected a lot out of it because it is a higher end makeup brand and it costs a lot of money. So I would rather spend like five bucks on a drugstore product that's very similar. $48 for two lip products. That's nearly $50 for two lip products that are all right, and it just streaks, so I don't know. Next is a product that, if you watch my vlogs, I've complained about it before. It's the e.l.f. Daily Moisture Stick, and I know other people on YouTube do like this product, um, especially Emily Noel, she's raved about this, but for me, it just didn't work, and Okay, I'm gonna admit I didn't put this on my face, but the reason why is because it stinks. I probably just got a wrong batch or something because it smells like somebody hasn't showered and then you're sniffing their armpits. It's so gross. So I am just throwing it away. I'm pretty sure I got a bad batch, so I lucked out. Next is CoverGirl's True Blend Fix. Stick. And this is just their concealer. I didn't like it because honestly, I compared it to my L'Oreal concealer, which looks almost identical by the way. L'Oreal is here on my left hand, the cover girl. But when I swatch the L'Oreal one, it's creamier, it's easier to blend. And with the cover girl, I felt that I was like pulling my skin every time I tried to blend it out with my fingers. And it feels a bit sticky. And I think because I had another product that looked almost identical to it, it was inevitable I was gonna compare the two and I much prefer the L'Oreal version. I think also because the color suited me better. It's just a better product in general. My last two products that I regret buying are from the new Forever 21 makeup lines, the premium line. They're both face products, so the liquid foundation and the pressed powder. One of the main reasons why I don't like it is because of the color selection. They only have three shades available, and I picked up shade medium. Look how fair the medium shade is. I actually wore this yesterday and I thought, oh, you know, I could kind of make it work. And when I took a photo, you can see it was significantly lighter. And then also the way it set on my skin, at first I thought, oh, it's pretty. Like I look bright face and whatnot. But then it settled in my nose area really weird. Like if you were talking to me up close, you'd probably just stare at my nose. And then the pressed powder, all of their face products were like this, like the colors were just way too light. At the end of the day when I wore the foundation, I wanted to touch up with the powder and it just clinged onto my dry patches and just wasn't appealing. Also, it's pricey. They were over 10 bucks. I believe the foundation was around 14 or $15 and the powder was probably 12 or 13. So again, I would have rather bought something else at the drugstore that would have worked better. Oh, and then I have some hair tools that I was so excited about. First is the Conair Infinity Pro, and it's one of those hair brushes that you can use at home to blow out your hair. I really like Conair products. Like, I have a bunch of Conair hair tools, but unfortunately, it didn't work for me. I gave it three tries. When I use this, like, my hair would get tangled up because it rotates, and it didn't get rid of any of the dents in my hair, like it didn't smooth it out. So for the brand 
Conair. I thought it was pricey because it was about 42 or 45 dollars and it just didn't work well for me so I definitely regret buying this. Another hair tool that's similar it's an as seen on TV it's called the Ionic Styler. I've watched the infomercial on this and I was so amazed. According to the infomercial, I thought it was like the most amazing product. It says that you can do a bunch of different looks using just one hair tool. Like look at this, like literally tight curls. But you can pretty much touch the curling iron and it will not burn you. It doesn't rotate or anything, but you can rotate it with your hands. So I tried it several times and it did not work for me. Uh, definitely did not curl my hair whatsoever. I love this one. Like I love how this one shows that you can do waves. I couldn't even do hair waves with this. It took like twice the time for me to even get a slight curl. It was so much work to just do that that I figured, you know, this is not worth the money because this was $50. Anyway, so that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my blog. It's judytime.com. I've been a lot more active on it this year. And you can also catch me on the daily on It's Judy's Life where I vlog every single day with my family. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. On the clock, I'll check back in natural light in about an hour. So it's been about an hour. It's about 2.15. The foundation looks good and I noticed it still looks natural and